So, I don't know if you can obviously tell that my lighting is a little, a lot different. Um, that's because the ring light is no more. It's, it's done. Lost. It's, it lost its juice. It is what it is, you know? But you know, it's crazy. Like, the majority of my videos, I use, like, a regular lamp, desk lamp or light. Um, yeah, I would show you guys, but it's just a regular, you know, $5, $10 lamp, <laughs> you know, and this is what I'm using right now as far as like the light. I mean, I really don't know why I got that light. I was just, it was different. I never had it before. Um, I probably would never use that again because of how the light was hit bouncing off my glasses and you couldn't really see my eyes in some, you know, in some parts. But yeah, well, I guess don't fix what doesn't need to be broken. Wait, what? Wait, don't wait, fix, wait, no. Broke, no. Don't. If it needs to be fit, no. You know, I was trying to go for like a little smooth, you know, transition into that phrase. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know what the uh, what the phrase is. Don't, don't fix what needs to be broken. Wait. Don't. If it doesn't need to be fixed, don't. Don't fix it. What? Hold on. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it was, it was really no point for me of me getting that light when I already had a light, and then the light that I'm using right now, which I've been using for a very long time, is still lit. It still does its job, which is ironic because the light, the ring light that I got, costs a whole lot more than the lamp that I got right now, and that that last, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how long. It was very like a month. Or so, I don't know. But the lamp that I'm using, this is the lamp I'm using. Well, I mean, granted, you know. But like, this, look, this is the lamp I'm using. It's like a $5, $10 lamp. I mean, granted, it's like flickering, but you know. The point is, I already had a lamp. Oh, shit. I already had a lamp. So, I'm going to be using that from now on. But, yeah. I don't know why I paused. So, though. No. From scary people to mysterious creatures to rogue robots, these videos will be freaking people out for years to come. Number 14, a man records his pet cat studying its reflection in a mirror for the very first time. The animal is fascinated and over and over again, <laughs> it tests the reflection by cautiously putting one paw in front of the other, almost as if it doesn't completely trust what it is seeing. Now satisfied that this mirror image is no threat, the cat settles down and looks behind for one moment, but as it turns out, its initial instincts were right all along. Oh, hell no! It didn't catch yet. The cat's reflection does not match the- So you telling me the cat's- The cat mother clucking red flags are off? You telling me that right now? For real? That's what we doing. You telling me that sixth sense that ooh, excuse me that animals are supposed to have is non-existent. Like really? So not only is the uh, is the uh, the real the, the real cat not a cat. But then, like, the reflection of the cat is also not a real cat. 
Somebody's lying. Somebody's in cahoots. It's own movements. So what do you think? Was this special effects or a once in a lifetime moment caught on video? I'm convinced that house is haunted since it looks too realistic to be done by amateur video editing. Number 13. What looks to be an oversized bird slowly turns to reveal a human shaped head. Listen and try to translate if you can. My head. What the hell is that? Nearly 12 seconds into the video, the legs and abdomen appear to be of an insect. At 13 seconds, the fully outstretched wings have a rich web. Oh my god! That, that has to be fake. That has to be fake. It has to be CGI. It has to be animated. Because that, that can't be real. It has to be fake. It has to be a prop. It has to be fake! Because you can't have something that looks like that. And then people are just driving along, walking along as if that's just a normal thing. What the hell is that? That can't be real. That cannot be real. Because if it is, I'm shooting that thing, stabbing it, burning it to ashes. And then I'm burning the ashes to ashes. Bat, any guesses as to what this is? Number 12, this video is said to have taken place in Indianapolis and was dash cam footage from a woman's car. Oh, I've seen this. Apparently five masked individuals surrounded the vehicle. In broad daylight. they wanted from the car with the driver still inside. The creepiest part of this video that has been freaking people out since it was uploaded is the driver's panicked screams that are caught on the dash cam during the ordeal. How are you going to do this in broad daylight? He walks nefariously by the front of the vehicle. Even scarier, this whole event happened in broad daylight. Uh, I, I, my, my, first of all, my reaction to her screaming was real. But even though I said I've seen this before, it's still kind of a blur, you know? Like, it's all coming back to me now, but like, how you gonna do this in broad daylight? And I saw Mother Clucker walk into that building. When people walking around, cars driving around, you got some real cojones to be doing this in broad daylight. Like, come on. Like, I understand you got mask on. That's, yo, I just realized that's so scary to be, to witness this, like somebody robbing you or whatever. Like, like, like you're, you're seeing that. Like she's in her car. Why would not, why, why wouldn't they, why, why are they doing it? Why wouldn't they wait until, why do the, why, why her car? You know? Cause I see a, I see a car in the distance over there. Do it over there. Do it on that one. Why you got to do it on this one? Hmm? And then plus they got some real cojones. To be doing this while somebody's in the car. Where they do that at? In a parking lot. It's enough to make me think twice next time I'm out and about. Number 11. A YouTuber named Brady Galloway is exploring an abandoned school all alone. When wow. he hears some kind of high-pitched yelp emerge from the other side of a heavy wooden door. <sighs> it almost sounds like a small dog. Even though there is no way that one would be all the way back here. I don't care. He opens the door, presumably to see if the animal needs help. And waiting on the other side is a creature. Oh, God. Yeah. Once human. Oh, shit. In this frame, one eye is large and yellow, while the other is small and red. You got His it. neck looks turned at an impossible angle and almost broken. Even when he gets closer, the two eyes remain different colors, and neither of them are natural in any way. As he descends upon Andy with a final blow. Number 10, a man marches into a retail store and starts shouting about his life while pouring liquid from a red canister all he over He can't say himself. target? The two people closest to him flee in terror, but others stand frozen in place and some don't even bother to turn around. All you have to do is listen to this piercing scream to know he is absolutely serious. <laughs> but as it turns out, this is e Yo, yo, dead ass. If I was a customer and I just entered like um 
I don't know if you ever been to Target before, but like Target has like two sets of doors. You got the main doors on like the outside, and then you got like a little, you got like a little like lobby rest area. You know what I mean? Like it's you have a, you have a set of doors, your main doors from the outside, and then you got like a space, and then another set of doors to 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 for the to go through the uh, inside. Right, I'm not gonna lie. If I was a customer and I and I walked through the main doors and then through the second doors, like I just walked through the second doors, right? Not even a second later, I heard somebody say, rah, rah. "I'm making a sharp U-turn and then I'm I'm out. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not with it. I'm not doing it. Not tonight." Side Evo, a personality with over a million followers who does this for fun. What? He pours what's really just normal water. So aside from creating a public disturbance, did he technically violate any other laws? I don't know what I would do in this situation, but I wanted to get your opinion on whether this is comedy or just plain dangerous. It's dangerous. More importantly, if it's legal or not. Number nine. No, that, wow. Your thumb. Is like abnormally long. It's like it's like weirdly long. What the hell? Why is your thumb so long? Pause. But that's not that's not a joke. People like you going you you going into a store, you going into a restaurant and screaming at the top of your lungs, acting real crazy. That's not a joke. That's really dangerous because you don't know. What other people's intentions are. You don't know what they be thinking about. You know? You be like, oh, snap, that bitch is crazy. Foul. Or, oh, snap, that, you know, that motherfucker is crazy. And somebody does a, like a, like an NFL tackle. And, you, I mean, you, oh, it's done. It's over with. You know? Oh, snap. That motherfucker is, you know, crazy. He acting real crazy right now. Let me get the bow and arrow. Boom. You don't know, bro. That's really dangerous. But your thumb is stupid. Wrong. Oh. Pina has a thumb that is freaking everybody out, and understandably so. To get a better frame of reference, the handles look to be about a third of the size of Jacob's thumb, and the faucet itself is roughly about the same size. Wow. And no, this is not editing of any kind. There are plenty of other videos of this nature on his TikTok account really? listed in the description below. Number eight, someone just exactly like Pennywise has been freaking out residents of Albuquerque, New Mexico. God. And the voice is as accurate as the costume and the makeup. Check out this video and tell me what he is saying here because I can't quite understand. He's saying you're clucked. What a condom at. What's up? It sounds like he is asking the person if they have someone with them. And I'd like to know specifically who he was looking for. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was like, Chills, Chills said he's asking somebody something. Like Pennywise is asking somebody something. And I'm laughing because it's like, what if he was like asking the, uh, the guy, like Pennywise? What if he was asking the person that he's talking to? What if he was asking, we like, uh... Hey, uh, bruh, do you have, you have any condoms of any sorts? You don't got no Magnums? You don't, you don't got no, uh, nah, you don't got no Adidas ones? No. Cause I, cause I, I just, I just ran out out of my condoms. I, I was just seeing if you, if you got some. All right, look, bruh, you don't got to act like that. All right. Jesus, I'm just asking you a question, bro. Why are you acting like that, bro? Why are you looking at me like, all right, all right, you got it, you got it. You better watch your butthole tonight. Or whoever it is, it sounds like he says he will see her in her dreams afterwards. See, yup. But again, I'm not sure. I need your help to verify number seven. 
A YouTuber named AG is playing with her phone on the floor when her CCTV system records a bizarre and possibly paranormal display behind her. The strangely shaped phantom consists of little more than two arms and a head. The face is simply a single eye in the middle, almost like it's looking at her from the side. The video itself looks a little pixelated, so I guess this could be special effects, or maybe even the brief reflection of something against the wall, though of what I cannot say. Stranger still is how, out of everywhere else in the room, it appears directly behind her, wow. almost like it's self-aware and choosing to do so. Number 6. A user named Dolphin Treasure posted this on the Chills Narrator subreddit. After her dog Bandit started really freaking her out, Bandit keeps staring up and growling at something it perceives as a threat in an otherwise quiet, normal-looking room. <sighs> Bandit, what's bothering you? There's a lot of memorabilia that could be bothering her dog. So one by one, she takes items off of her shelf to show. It's also worth noting that this dog has never behaved this way at any of these items on the shelf before and was sitting peacefully in her lap moments before. Is that who you're barking at? No. It's that, it's that mask. It's that, get that mask. After a while, she concludes it's nothing on the shelf, you but sure? rather something up higher, like on the ceiling. But there's nothing up there that I can see that would hold a small dog's attention for so long, especially with such steadfast conviction. Number five, Jenny Smith is an animal researcher. One day she is alone in nature when a kingfisher bird befriends her, almost like it knows she is an ally to the animal kingdom. This behavior is strange enough on its own, but it doesn't end there. The bright blue bird is enjoying a light scratch when suddenly its fragile neck becomes twisted to a 360 degree angle yeah. and looks ready to snap. No, that's Even fake. under Jenny's extra light touch, I think that its neck was designed to do this. Really? And it's just reacting to being pet. Oh my I god. How that could freak somebody out. Possessed. After a while, when Jenny is ready to let it go, the wild animal seems to be reluctant to leave. It doesn't look sick or hurt, so I was wondering what you think is happening here. Some Twitter followers are saying this is just a random occurrence in nature, but others interpret this as a horrifying omen. To them, the bird is demonstrating that the fate of its very species is within our grasp, and when it doesn't want to leave, it's to show that it's relying on humans to make a change. Pick it up! I find that theory a little hard to believe, but I'd like to get your analysis of the situation. Number Pick it up! If you can't just throw it and get it off you, pick it up and talk to motherfucker. Or someone in Festus, Missouri has been strategically laying these realistic toddler-sized dolls around the city. Oh. And it has been freaking residents out. The dolls have their hands sewn to their face and when left somewhere, give off the appearance of a lost and crying child in my opinion. So that's freaky enough. But when they started appearing in really bizarre positions, like poking out from behind the dumpster, or dashed over the rocks without a head, I can't help but wonder if this is more than a joke, like a warning of things to come. I mean, this could really just be some bored kids in a small town who are looking for some attention. Maybe they enjoy from a distance as people rush over to help, and listen as local legends grow and grow. Hopefully that's what this is, and not the work of an actual budding psycho who wants to someday graduate from dolls to real people within the community. Oh my god. Number three, humans have always made computers, but on a website called thispersondoesnotexist.com, it's now the other way around. It uses a sophisticated computer algorithm to create realistic photos of people who were never actually born. What? Looking into the eyes of a photorealistic person who doesn't exist is strange enough, but get this, sometimes the computer messes up, and this is the result. In this first glitch, a fictional man's entire lower jaw is replaced with a solid chunk of bad data. It looks like he is screaming into the abyss, and the surprised, hollow look in his eyes just makes it even worse. And when the computer really gets things wrong, it creates this horrifying humanoid sidekick with a jack-o'-lantern grin. 
And oddly enough, glasses under pale green eyes that do not even fully surround the iris. The glasses don't have a nose piece because, well, the creature does not have a nose. Number two, this highly realistic- Hey, oh no! The internet freaking out, but I wanted to set the record straight and say there is no robot revolution. This is the work of a 3D artist named Maxim Sullivan. It's all 100% computer-generated imagery layered over a background video shot with his phone. Even when the robot walks straight towards the camera at 14 seconds in, it still maintains detailed clarity with no noticeable pixelation around the edges. Amazingly, this is just an experimental test video that he put up without much thought, never intending to go viral. With that said, here's a video that is a fraction as popular, very real, and honestly freaking me out. Oh my god! Maybe it's the expressionless face. Can we please chill out? with making robots, okay? Please. Holy hell. Oh my God. And then, and then, the mother clucker, the, the, the robot that we seen before her, talking about it was computer animated or computer generated, right? Like it wasn't actually in real life. I think that was a red flag right there. I think he knows how to build a robot Excuse me. I think he knows how to build a robot or has a sense to know how to build a robot because that was just true. That was that was really disturbing. That was really disturbing. And then you show this. We just need to chill out with that because I'm not I'm not with it at all. At all. I'm not I'm not with it. Cause something tells me sooner or later. There's going to be a lot of robots just walking around among us. And right now, I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not doing it. I'm not with shit. That bitch looks realistic as hell. Just put some clothes on her mother. Like, like if you used to put clothes on her and cover up her robot parts, At first glance, I would have thought that would be a real. That, that, oh, I would have thought that was a real person. I'm not with it, bro. Maybe it's the squeaky robot steps, or maybe it's the fingers that are as long as its hands. But everything feels wrong about this android. And here's the worst part: I think I see a blink at 15 seconds. A and what? 18 seconds. But it might just be the face getting rocked by the force of its own heavy steps. Watch this and tell me if you saw a blink. I saw a blink. I saw a blink. And perhaps the only thing creepier than watching it walk is watching it attempt to emulate emotion. It moves to a happy, upbeat song with perfect timing, but the eyes have no joy, and the smile has no authenticity or purpose. Of course, researchers are working on that too. The quote-unquote child robot is meant to learn from observation in the same way that humans do. Hell, it's God! Its rubbery skin is covered with sensors to help it feel touch and process other senses. It starts out rolling around like a toddler, and after careful and consistent daily interactions, Researchers were able to teach it to sit upright and mimic their behaviors. The robot looks pretty content for the most part, but at 3 minutes and 56 seconds, its face temporarily twists into horror and pain, an expression that was never replicated in any other part of the video. During this moment, I couldn't help but wonder if this robot resents being forced to learn against its will, and if it would have preferred to have never existed at all. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills, and if you're curious about what Let I'm me tell y'all something. Y'all keep building robots? Somebody gonna mess around and put, like, a real emotion in those robots. And when that happens... I pray to God I am not around. Just saying. Well, beside it, then thank you. Also, don't forget I upload a new video here on YouTube every Thursday and Saturday. Number one, a YouTube channel called Proper Good Games is streaming Pokemon when a game goes flying across the room off camera. What? 
I thought when people ate quail, it was like eating a fan. <laughs> <laughs> at each other and not moving at all when it happens so it could not have been them then what she says next makes me feel like this happens all the time do you believe her i'm not lying when i say ghosts follow me around right and when he goes to pick up the game he lets out a gasp as the temperature into this part of the room suddenly grows very cold again is this real or just good acting it's really cold one Sure, it actually is. If you think that you've seen it all, think again. These are videos that will trick your eyes in ways that will make you question all that you thought you knew. Robots. Why can't we just keep certain things in movies? Keep certain things in TV shows? Because I feel like having robots that look like us, act like us, think like us, feel like us. I feel like that's not that's not that's not gonna go so well with uh, us humans. It's not gonna go so well with me. I'll tell you that right now. Why can't we just keep the robots in the movies? You know. Why you gotta bring him? Why why you gotta why you have to bring him to real life, man? Cause see, I'm not a violent person. I'm not. But I feel like y'all gonna force it out of me. Out, out. <laughs> I feel like y'all gonna y'all gonna force it out of me. You know? Cause I got the hands. I got the hands. I just choose not to because I I choose to use my feet to haul that. Right? Cause I know some of y'all seen my Instagram video when I was like. You know, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was boxing, right? Because I got the hands. Best believe I got the hands, right? But I'm just saying, bro. And I feel like at some point, there's going to be too many robots. And then somebody or some people are going to do some, something stupid and piss a robot off. It's just gonna have a train effect. Like you're gonna piss off one robot, right? And then that robot is gonna feel like like then like a separate like a all right. So you got a robot that just got bullied, right? They know what they, the robot knows what bullying is, has feelings and all that, right? And so you 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 got the bully you got the bullied robot. Right, and then you got another robot, right, that's uh, just have a normal day in the park, I guess. I don't know what robots do. You got, you got this robot, and then you got the other robot. This robot just got bullied. So that feeling that that robot is having transfers over, that feeling transfers over to another robot. So now that, so now this robot, no wait, so now this robot uh, feels the same as this robot. But I feel like it's going to be a train effect because I, I feel like a dumbass is just going to do something stupid. <clears throat> it's just, it's going to piss off a robot. And then that robot that's pissed off is going to, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, yeah, it's going to be like a train effect. Like it's going to be, it's going to start off with one, one robot pissed. But it's gonna be thousands of robots that feel the same exact way. <clears throat> and now we got a problem on our hands. And then it's gonna be like too many robots for me to haul ass, so I feel like I will have to fight. Jesus. I mean, hey, some of y'all, how do y'all feel about robots? Cause I, I y'all really know how I feel about robots, but let me know that in the comment section below, cause robots is not where it's at. I don't give a damn what you say. You cannot say anything to me that's going to change my mind about robots. Especially if they look like us. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.